Hey guys, it's the pool here, and it's another time I saw something wrong since I figure if there's nothing else I can do when I'm busy with studies, I figure I just show off the stuff I have in my backlog. And it's an interesting bonus I'll show you here. But first of all, let's start with this kit. The high grade, <coughs> excuse me, the high grade, excuse me, the high grade build custom diver gear. Now, um, basically, this is a modified version of the Action Base 5, and um, you know, it's it's supposed to be like that. This uh, this thing appears in the anime, and it's supposed to be help help you like connect to the the GBN and you know, get get you in the world. But uh, well, it's a very nice thing. I bought it. Well, originally I had plans to do this uh, based on this this one, but I'm planning to get another one just to do a project. But since I didn't have much time, I did. I just got the idea. But uh, yeah. Speaking of uh, my speaking of this, G, uh, this base um. Yeah, basically you can cut out this template and then put it into the GP base or GP, uh, diver gear. Sorry, basically it this the this base is basically the the diver, the, the GP base for build divers, and the thing is, uh, I wanted to make a template for this uh, for the diver gear, but unfortunately I don't have the font that actually goes uh, matches or close, really closely resembles the font used in the diver gear. Uh, I tried my luck. I tried to find every, every font I can, but I can't. So, if you guys remember, uh, some sometime back in Bamboo Fest, the thing, uh, you guys remember that someone actually scanned the uh, GB base template and then uh, redesigned it or and re reduxed it basically and make it look look cooler. And he, yeah, someone also made a font for the for the GB base, which is called Plasky. And um, that that was re really really uh, nice. I can actually make my temp print out my template and do whatever I want with it. But here, as of now, there's no there's no uh, template that someone ma made already. But you know, if I, I want to make one, but I don't have, I can't find the exact font that actually uh, you know resembles the font used in the library gear. And the next kit is oh, yep yeah, the High Grade Jesse Avenger from the Pacific Rim Uprising movie. Uh, I'm gonna be honest right now. Um, I have not seen the first Pacific Rim movie. I've seen the second one, but not seen the first one yet. But I've heard. Uh, but I didn't know what story, how the story went, because of spoilers from those idiots on the internet who just don't give a damn. <sighs> yeah. So, yeah, it's a basic model key. I mean, uh, I mean for 1900 yen, this is a bit a little expensive, but uh. I'm assuming it's because of like licensing issues, but uh, yeah, uh, I I want I want to get the other Jaeger as well. Not not only Obsidian Fury Fury and the Radiator Phoenix, but I also want the other two. I can't remember the names, but the other two in the Pacific Rim Uprising movie. I mean, I also want to see a model kit of the Gypsy Avenger. And speaking of model kits, I I they did announce uh today in the Shizuoka Harvey show that. There are going to be some more figurized models, which is basically I'll, I'll put a uh, picture here and you guys can see for yourself. Uh, they, they actually made figurized uh, figurized models for uh, Naruto and uh, Kamen Rider, Kamen Rider X8. And uh, speaking of X8, uh, I I did watch Kamen Rider X8 briefly, like about a few episodes, first few episodes, and after that I kind of gave up hopefully not because it's bad, but better because. First of all, I was busy. Second of all, I didn't have much time. Thirdly, I'm not that into Kamen Rider, but I do like the character designs. That's just that's, that's why I want to get the, that that figureized, uh, figureized uh, standard uh, of the the Kamen Rider X8, which I want to get. So yeah, that's it for the uh, Bandai Kids. Now this is something uh, I did mention my previous previous time something around. The so Kodi Kids, Kids, which is from. Uh, which is the D style Star Gar 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 Gar. Now, this I bought this uh, about f four to five years ago. I can't remember how, when, but uh, I didn't get a chance to build. I didn't get the chance to build it because, well, I I don't think I'm ready to build the kind of kits yet. But what I've seen, uh, I've seen people say that you know the pre painted parts looks pretty cool. And I'll show you an example here. Here, see, uh, the main for. When on the chest, which the Gideon attacks attached to, uh, those are pretty pre-painted, which is pretty interesting. But um, again, I I don't know when is a good time to actually build this. I I just not I don't have a, I don't have the confidence or like the time to actually build this. But uh, like I said, this is not my first. Okay, so 
this is the first Code Bigger kit, and the Free Runners Ghost I've shown you before, they're not my first one. They're, this is the first Code Bigger kit I've forgotten. And frankly, I am. Well, I mean, it was, it was an impulse by the time, but uh, I was happy I got it because, you know, I went the next few months after I went to the book on the store, they were all gone. So I was glad that I got this. Yeah, so that's about it for a model kit. So I'm, I'm going to show off something that I got today, maybe because, well, it's pure nostalgia, basically, which is this. The the Van the Cardfight Vanguard uh V V series Trial Deck One, which is yeah, sent I Chi Sendo, but to be honest, I I I, I have it back in the day when I was playing card this card game, I I had a joke with my friends that, you know he's a gay, he's a gay he's a gay man. Yes, he's a gay boy. Yeah, gay boy. I'm not gonna say the other the the, the other word uh, the other word. But he's a gay boy, definitely. You know why? Watch the anime and find out. Uh yeah, yeah. Anyways, uh, yeah. So I got oh, I bought this card game. I got the sleeve as well. Uh, I mean, it's a promo sleeve, so I got it for free. But when I bought this product, I was really, really shocked of the price. Okay, back in the day when when Venga was when it first came out, um, the products were like you know the reasonable price. But the only problem is that, uh, well, you, one product costs okay. Let's say a product costs eighteen dollars. Uh, the first trial decks cost cost eighteen dollars, and um, they were they were okay for its time, but only problem is that the trial deck is incomplete, and um, you need to buy four trial decks. Okay, remember if you first the very first trial deck came out, you get one blaster blade and you know some other cards that that might may not may not may not be that useful or something like that. But um, when when the G series came out, that was when when it get, it reduced the it reduced the cost. It, it's from eight dollars. It comes fifteen dollars. And instead of buying four decks to complete the uh, to complete the set, you only buy two. So the, I pref most I prefer the G series the most, maybe because oh well the G series are you know they they they're very easy to understand. Plus it's powerful for what for for a good reason. But this one it costs way more than what I mentioned before. I'm not gonna mention the price because this is this might shock make you think why the hell are you spending this money on? But um, yeah, I got this. Well, I'm not gonna open it in front of you guys because I'm I'm not playing this. I'm not playing it this card game. I bought this just just for the sake of memories, and I'm not gonna you know bother playing it unless I'm gonna put this in the shelf, put it in one corner, and probably forget about it for a while until much later when I stumble upon this one day and I thought you know I'm open up and just. This thing is like a time capsule, basically. Like I'm gonna put make my own time capsule and just, you know, show my just get, get my memories out and start doing whatever the heck I want. And speaking of card games, um, uh, I can show you my decks I have that I made uh, while 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 I was playing Vanguard. This keep in mind the decks are not updated to the latest to the latest standards. Oh, I mean not not this not this one. I mean the G series basically. And here we go. Uh, this is my one of, this is my uh, main possibly my main deck, but it's Gear Chronicle. Uh, there's only a time be spilled, and it's not it's not it's not complete because I didn't have time. By the time I want I want to complete this, I've lost interest in Vanguard already. And yeah, I mean it's it's a fun game, but you know if you're going to put some f like your commitment to this game, then you're probably gonna win. But I I'm playing for fun really. And here's the strides I've got for my Gear Chronicle deck, and it's missing a card because I didn't have much enough money to buy the actual, uh, which is this one, Chrono Dragon Next Stage. And the funny thing is, okay, let's start with this, uh, Chronos Command, of course. The funny thing is, uh, if you're wondering how I got these, these two cards, funny story, okay. Basically, I was strolling in, in the shopping mall and I saw, like, a novelty store there, and I saw, like, and decided that, well, you know, I'm, I'm gonna go, just go buy a booster bag just for fun, and... At the time when I when this was a thing when this was the uh, latest set I opened it up I just opened a pack randomly and I got this like I just bought one pack for fun and uh, I don't buy packs usually but in this in this heck time I'm just bored I just bought one and you know well, you know I've got this card from my first from my first pull and then two months later no three or four months later uh uh when I was I went to the same shop again and then you know I bought a pack just for fun again and I got this. 
So, yeah, it's it brings up the memories, but I do not wish to like like go back to this card game again because, like I said, I'm not I'm not like in the mood to actually play anymore because these card games sure they bring me the fun, but they are pretty they are pretty pretty like expensive and not only that I don't find a point of actually I don't find a point of actually um. Uh, playing this anymore because I don't play competitive like I used to. I just don't have fun in this time. And show my second deck. Basically, New Nectar. This is my birthday gift for my friend. So, oh, I mean, the Trollic was basically just a birthday gift for my friend. And when the set came out, oh boy, this is a fun deck to build. I like to play. I had so much fun building this deck. So much. I remember this is one of my best birthday gifts I've ever gotten, and I will never throw it away or anything like that. I will keep this deck. Hopefully I stumble upon this again one day and possibly play with my friends again. So yeah. So let's just put these uh, decks aside because they're not part of the haul, the so-called haul I'm having. But yeah, that's what it is for my some stuff lying around. Um, yeah, it's a little bit longer than I expected, but uh, you know, I've got these for just for, just to heck for my fun and this is for nostalgia. Yeah. I I don't plan to play this game uh any any sooner or later. I just I just bought it, just put it on my put it on the shelf, forget about it. Hopefully one day if I stumble across one day, probably probably gonna kinda like have fun with this, I guess. Although I do think of playing getting the uh um the other trial deck, second trial deck, which is uh Kai and he has the cargo deck. I wanna get it as well so I can put both of them inside. Forget about them, and then when I stumble upon one day, we can we can play like as if this is a very fun memory. So yeah, that's what it for my sound something around. Um, thank you guys for watching this video. I, I mean, I'm sorry, I'm not free to build to do reviews yet until the June holiday. So please do stay tuned for that, and yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.